Today, we're diving into the latest macOS Beta 7 release and breaking down what's new, what's improved, and what's still causing headaches for users. I've been scrolling through user feedback to get a sense of how this beta is performing, so let's jump right in and talk about the good, the bad, and the still not fixed. Spotlight indexing. Progress, but not perfect. If you've been following the beta cycle, you know Spotlight has been a sore spot for a lot of users. The good news? It seems like Beta 7 has made some strides. Users are reporting that Spotlight is working better than it was in Beta 6, where it was pretty much broken for some. You can now search from the Finder window without your Mac freezing up, which is a huge relief. Documents and installed apps are starting to show up in searches again, though it might take a bit for indexing to fully catch up. Recent folders in Finder are also populating correctly now, which wasn't the case in Beta 6. But it's not all smooth sailing. Some folks are saying that while Spotlight is better, it's still not showing everything, like certain documents or settings. So, if you're relying on Spotlight for quick searches, you might need to give it some time to index or brace yourself for a few gaps. Next, let's chat about the control center and the overall UI. There's been a lot of buzz about the liquid glass design, and honestly, the feedback isn't great. In Beta 7, the control center's look has shifted from that sleek liquid glass effect to more of a standard blur, which has left some users disappointed. It's being described as a step back, especially when compared to how polished it looks on iOS. And speaking of design, some are frustrated that fundamental design decisions haven't changed much despite being seven betas in. The compact layout? Still gone, and it doesn't seem like it's coming back anytime soon, which is a bummer for those who love the extra vertical space. On top of that, External drive icons haven't gotten the updates some were hoping for. While Macintosh HD and Time Machine got shiny new icons, external drives are still rocking the old, tilted ones that stick out like a sore thumb. It's a small thing, but it's these little inconsistencies that can drive you nuts. Now, let's touch on some hardware-related feedback. One user mentioned that their external USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4 NVMe enclosure was running super hot in Beta 6, but that issue seems to have vanished in Beta 7. That's a win for anyone using external drives. Another user asked about running two screens at 120Hz, which wasn't possible in Beta 5 but was fixed in Beta 6, so no new complaints there. On the flip side, some issues persist. Audio crackling is still a problem for some, requiring a manual command to restart the core audio process. And Safari. It's been crashing for at least one user, which is surprising since Safari is usually rock solid on macOS. If you're experiencing this, you're not alone, and it might be worth reporting to Apple. For the developers out there, Beta 7 hasn't been kind to everyone. One dev shared that building on the new system breaks UI elements like color pickers, buttons, and labels, turning them into odd shapes or requiring complete restyling. Some are sticking with older macOS versions to avoid these headaches, which is a big deal if you're working on apps and don't want to overhaul your UI just to keep up with the beta. So, is Beta 7 stable enough for your main device? That's a question a lot of folks are asking. While some are saying it feels more stable than previous betas, others are pointing out that it's an A build, which might mean we're not getting major fixes until the next release. Plus, some users are reporting that the update isn't even showing up in the App Store, which could be a glitch or just a slow rollout. And then there's the frustration with the pace of fixes. Some feel like we've seen zero meaningful updates since Beta 2, with one user jokingly wondering if Apple's just testing air at this point. Seven betas in, and core issues like setting search not working are still lingering for some. It's got people questioning why these betas are dropping if the big problems aren't being addressed. Here's the thing, betas are always a mixed bag. You get some exciting improvements, like better spotlight performance and fixes for external drive heat issues, but then you're also stuck with lingering bugs and design choices that not everyone loves. The feedback is clear. Some users are thrilled with the progress, while others feel like Apple's prioritizing flashy features over fixing the basics. And with comments like, it's just beta, wearing thin after seven rounds, it's no surprise people are getting vocal about what they want to see fixed. So, what's the verdict on macOS Beta 7? It's a step forward in some areas, like Spotlight and certain hardware fixes, but it's not a home run. If you're thinking about installing it on your main device, maybe hold off unless you're okay with some quirks. For developers, it might be worth sticking to a stable build until the UI issues are ironed out. What do you think about Beta 7? Are you running it? And if so, what's been your experience? Drop a comment below, 
and let's keep the conversation going. If you found this breakdown helpful, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech updates. Until next time, stay curious, and I'll catch you in the next one.